we have Heaven Upside Down, the newest album from Marilyn Manson. You don't seem disappointed. Well, the thing is, Marilyn Manson has never been the most subtle of people. But as his album titles have progressed, they've become more like a freight train made of gold to the face. <laughs> Why made of gold? Because it's heavy. I Heavy like Marilyn Manson's edginess. <laughs> oh god, the edge. The edge of it all. I mean, let's see. Um, oh god, where do we begin with this? Uh, okay. I was in the beginning say that with the album cover, or a promotional photo or whatever of this album, I can't help but think he looks kind of like Gru from Just Before Me. One moment. Oh god, yes! And <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a longer nose and you're there. It's the coat, I think. Yes! Oh god, I cannot unsee it! <laughs> <laughs> I was, the other, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, God. The thing is, it's, it's got all the hallmarks of both artsiness and pretentious edginess. You know, you've got the slight turn to the camera, the black and white, the upside down cross with two bars instead of one. It's just so much try hard. It's like is, is it average goth tries to be art house. Yeah, but uh, we're not here to talk about the album art. We're here to talk about the music. Um, I decided to pick this as part of the reviews because I was alerted to this album being absolutely shockingly terrible by one of my friends who's a lifelong Marilyn Manson fan. She's, you know, even through the really terrible albums, she stuck by him and I, I was sort of like, okay, I've got to give this a listen because if someone like that is calling this out as being terrible, then, you know, morbid curiosity got the better of me. Um, to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed because, okay, it's not a good album. I will by no means say that. Uh, I'll put it like this. It's nowhere near the pantheon of bad albums. Bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Same close. Yeah. I I don't think it would even crack the top 20. Maybe the top 50. But considering how many awful albums there are out there, that's probably putting it quite strong. No, I wouldn't even be that harsh. It's, just, it's not necessarily even that bad. It's just slightly not that good. It's really bland. It, it's all... Here's the thing. Um... Three songs in and nothing works about this album. The production is awful. I'm sure you'll agree there that it really sounds... It does sound very muddy. Yeah. Um, lyrics are tired and repetitive. It's sort of like, we've heard all of this before on every single one of your albums, Marilyn. This is the point where you might consider either one of two things. Retiring or doing something new. Well, one of those, where exactly is my uh, Marilyn Manson as part of a twin ten man choir doing like Gregorian church music? <laughs> now that might be interesting. <laughs> um, uh, the samples used on this album are really blah. You, you know, there's just, there's nothing to the samples used. Yeah, like, uh, I didn't do it literally a couple of hours ago, and I can't even remember any of them. <laughs> yeah, and instrumentation is just all over the place it is like it's almost like half the songs were um oh this is a good comparison you know how the opening riff for sweet child of mine was just slash doodling on his guitar you know it's just a warm-up mm. it's almost like they started recording during the warm-ups and the, and the musicians were sort of like oh shit we're doing this now what uh, okay, um, I have no idea what I'm doing. But, yeah, there's been some of the super cheesy stuff in this album. So, just, you say God, I say say ten. It's like, what? Yeah, um. Why would you just, why? For what purpose? Yeah, yeah, it's the epitome of try hard. I mean, this does not read 
like the album listing of a... Oh, how old is Brian by now? Uh, old. <laughs> he, I think he's in his 40s at this point. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, I, I don't <laughs> care enough to look it up, but he's probably in his 40s. Uh, yeah, it feels overall very tired. Yeah. Also, also there's so many gimmicky song titles. Not only is a say ten, it's kill four me with a four as a four. Yeah. Uh, now, public service announcement time. Bands everywhere. I know some of you are listening. Uh, I mean, I've ended up in a dialogue with J. Lauren Wentz, and that was actually very informative and when we get round to doing future Hurt reviews um, I'm going to be actually seeing about discussing stuff with him Um, and there are various other band members who I've actually gotten to talk to and it's really cool now they are not guilty of doing this but other bands bands everywhere I have to say this unless there is a specific reason for having a number in the title you, you know you like i uh, i i don't know um green jello when they did three little pigs well even in this case this album revolution number 12 at least that makes sense yeah that that's okay but unless that's the case do not use a number to finish a word or act as a word. Leet speak is not cool. It has never been cool. It will never be cool. We are way past the point where it even had the chance to be cool. It never was. You just look ridiculous and try hard. So please do not use leet speak or equivalents thereof. Say 10 is the actual title. It's say as in speaking, say, and then 10. So it's even stupider than if it was a misspelled version of Satan. And all these, I mean, it's almost like the... Uh, one thing can be said the song titles are certainly perfect because it gives you good alarm bells for how crap the album is it is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> and how cool a song would be called Jesus Crisis where every single S is replaced by a dollar sign is <laughs> and um, for, 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 for fucking purpose <laughs> I don't know I I I I mean, let's see. Titles that aren't try hard. Saturnalia. Saturnalia, Revelation number 12. Blood Honey. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> Those you. Talking of Blood Honey, actually, it's probably the only song on the album I actually really quite like. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me just. Um, I mean, Saturnalia, I quite liked. Saturnalia's alright, yeah. It's one of the better ones, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, I, it's one of those... I will be deleting this album once we've, we've done this review. Um, but it's one of the songs that I'd keep. Satel- Saturnalia, Blood Honey... Uh, I'm not sure what else. I mean, Kill For Me, that's a recycling of older songs of his. Particularly things like Heart Shaped Glasses. But... If you made it really dull and passionless. <laughs> um, and as as I've said before, it's a far greater crime of music to be boring than to be bad. Um, yeah, honestly, it's just everything about this album just doesn't seem overly interesting. And it doesn't seem like it's putting all that much effort into it. It just, it feels like... Rather than himself, he's just tired. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, I suppose I probably should carry on releasing music. I guess I will. But, Mom, I don't want to keep on releasing music. Yeah. So, I can't say I have much praise for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, the thing is, when it's not sounding like shit, it, it's a flogged dead horse. It's sort of like, oh no, Marilyn Manson is singing about how it's, he's controversial and hates religion and politics. Rinse and fucking repeat. Mm. 
I mean, even Killing Joke, who've been going since the 70s, can make their repeated lyrics sound interesting because they actually refer to current events. I mean, yes, they did have a, a hiatus from 96 to 2002, but my point stands. They've been around for 39 years. A rather long time, at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've been around almost as long as my brother's been alive, if not as long. So if they can manage it, Marilyn Manson has no excuse. I mean, let's see. Yeah. Killing Joke is almost as old as my brother. So. And Marilyn Manson, okay, um. Let's see how long he's been going for. Oh, he's almost 50. Um, he's been going since 89. So, Killing Joke have 11 years on him. And they can still keep fresh. So, yeah, just... Uh, this album... The thing is, I'm making it sound worse than it is. But that's the problem. It's nowhere near as bad as it should be to warrant this response. I think I'm just frustrated because I know he can do better. It's good to know if you're a fan of something and the thing in particular has also proven before that it's competent, then coming out of something that's not anywhere near as good as it should be is always more of a disappointment than just hearing some random thing you don't like. Yeah, it's like the complaints against Chinese democracy. You know, Chinese democracy in and of itself isn't that bad, but in the context of Guns N' Roses, that's what makes it bad. Mm. I'm not saying it's good. There are a lot of problems with it, but it's more the name attached to it. I mean, I can guarantee if it was a lesser known band that had released that album, it wouldn't be as infamous as it is. Mm. Um, yeah. I suppose rating... 1.5 out of 5? Yeah, I've only got 1.5. That's mostly because of Blood Honey. Yeah. To, to be honest, the low rating is just because it's incredibly dull. Yeah, it's just... It seems very empty. Yeah. I honestly think he should probably just take a break. Also, yeah, either retire or just, you know, do lives. Mm. You don't need to release music all the time. Yeah. Some bands don't. Some bands have literally just been touring for the last millennia. Well, Sisters of Mercy, you know, one of the granddaddies of goth music. They haven't released a new album since, like, 1993? It's something like that. Uh, suffice to say... Look at The Cure. They're still touring, and they haven't released an album in, like, a decade now. Um, actually, I... Th um... Let's see... Uh, discography... Oh, even earlier, Sisters of Mercy haven't released anything since 1990. Um, and The Cure... It wasn't late, it was the last time. So, yeah, they're still going. Is it alive this year, in fact? Really? Up on live tour. And yet, nearly a decade without nothing. But shit. Okay. Anyway, all in all, this album, just disappointment. Yeah. Probably more so for you, because you're more of a fan of Marilyn than I am. Mm. But, you know, it's thing I haven't, you know, properly cared about Marilyn Manson at any point. It still comes across as being disappointing, which is rather impressive. Mm. But yeah, it's something I'm not even that much of a fan of, this is something that's disappointing. It's probably states that it's just not that great. Yeah. I mean, check out the songs that we have mentioned. Uh, Threats of Violence is okay. It's, um... Saturnalia, Blood Honey. Those are the best ones there, yeah. Yeah. Look into those, but the rest of the album you can just skip. Um. Yeah. Next. Got you tired of, I love it. Tired of, I love it. 